Start. Who will start? I think we start with the prayer. Yes, God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have given us to study your word. Thank you, Lord, for this uh, wonderful opportunity we get to gather over here and to spend time with your word. And Lord, as you have gathered over here to study your word, it is you who's teaching us. Let it be everything of you spoken, you reveal, everything of you that is taught to us, and nothing of us, Lord. You teach us. You guide us, you lead us, and you give us the revelation, you give us the interpretation of your word, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this um, blessing, for taking our punishment, taking our sickness, taking our sin, taking our place on the cross 2,000 years ago. That now we no longer have to be under sin. We no longer have to be under this bondage of sickness, this bondage of fear, this bondage of anger, this bondage of strife, this bondage of shame, guilt, and condemnation. But now we have been liberated. We have received freedom. And now we are in your kingdom. Lord, we all went once. Once we, were, we went away from you, but you never went away from us. We rebelled against you, but you never rebelled against us. You continue to love us. And that's why, Lord, because of your love today, we are saved. Because of your love today, we are transformed. And because of your love, because of your grace, now we receive everything that was due to Jesus. Because everything that was due to Jesus, because of his obedience, is now our inheritance because of your grace, because now we are made the righteousness of God. We are declared the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for uh, obeying the will of the Father and accepting the will of the Father and was ready to be rejected, was ready to be full of shame, was ready to take our guilt and to take our sickness just because you wanted us to have freedom. You wanted us to be free. And because of that today, now we are able to live a life according to your word and to live a life of healing, to live a life of deliverance, to live a life of blessing and to live a life pleasing to your kingdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful opportunity we get to spend time with your word. And as we are studying your word, you confirm your word with signs, wonders, practical examples that we are Lord not only hearers of your word but we are also doers of your word and we are also uh, apply this word in our day-to-day -day lives that Lord we can see your glory we can see your result and we can see your manifestation in our lives thank you Lord Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you our Father in Jesus name we pray our Father believing that you have answered our prayer amen Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. So what we were seeing yesterday, yesterday and the day before yesterday, we were seeing, what were we seeing? We were seeing, discovering God's plan for my life. Correct? We, we actually, we, we saw that we had studied this before also, where we went to Psalms 139, verse 13 onwards, God formed us in our mother's womb, and he has written about us in his book. But we were seeing a bit deeper, correct? Yeah? Yeah. Press God. Okay. Let's, yesterday and the day before yesterday, we were seeing on the um, 10 lepers who came to Jesus. Okay. Nine of them went to the Jewish priest. One Samaritan who was going to the Jewish priest turned away, turned halfway, and he came back to Jesus and fell on his face, fell on his feet, and started to give thanks. Praise God. Okay. Um, let's go back to that one. Samuel chapter 16, verse 1. Praise God. 
Scott, you know, I'll just mute you. There is some hissing sound coming from your side, Scott. You can all turn your videos on. Those who are able to turn the videos on, you can turn on, on your videos. Bless you, Jesus. Scott. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 1. So we all know what happened in 1 Samuel chapter 17, where uh, if you see what happened in 1 Samuel chapter 17, what happened? Prescott, you know, just click on the whole chapter. Okay. Now, uh, in, one, in 1 Samuel, just, just get rid of that one in the colon and just pre press enter. Yeah. God. One. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, now, yeah, praise God. Okay, so uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, we see Jesus, I mean, David is coming in front of Goliath, correct? 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 26 onwards, he is coming in front of Goliath with his sling and he's coming to kill Goliath. Now see this, 1 Samuel chapter 16. You know, can you just zoom in? It's a bit small. One minute. Yeah. Okay. No, a little bit bigger. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, this is okay. That's good. Yeah, okay, see this. And the Lord said unto Samuel, how long will thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him? So this happened just before David is going to cry. This is the chapter before. This is, I mean, David is going to kill Goliath. And here we see, uh, God does not want Saul to reign over Israel. Yes? Yes. Yes. Scott, Enoch, stay on mute, okay? Don't unmute unless you want to say anything because there is hissing sound. Okay. So now we the hissing sound gone. Yeah, yes, but you keep on mute. Yeah, okay. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him? So here we see God's will is no longer for Saul to re reign over Israel. God does not want um, Saul to reign over Israel because if God is continuing to use Saul to reign over Israel, then he will continue to reign over Israel, but it will be of no use because God's will cannot be fulfilled. That's why uh, if, if Saul would be humble enough, then we would see Jesus Paul or the descendant of you know keep on mute okay so if if if, if Saul was humble enough and he uh, continued to be humble just like how he was before he was a king then Jesus would have come and Jesus would be called the son of Saul or the descendant of Saul but we see he's called the son of David the descendant of David because it was David who humbled himself. And Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, take an heifer with thee and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord and call Jesse to the sacrifice. Now who is Jesse? The son of, the, the, the father of David. Yes, and the father of David's brothers. Now he's saying, call Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what thou shalt do, and thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I name unto you. Now, when example, example, okay. If there is a person who's going on a on a cruise, okay, cruise, cruise ship, and when he's going on a cruise, okay, he he is a very poor man. So one rich man, his very friend from childhood gets him a ticket and says, 
it is for free i give it, i'm giving it for you to for free you can go on this cruise okay it's just an example okay yeah and now prescott i i i actually learned this from sister justin sister justin was always sharing this uh, if you see prescott yeah so when 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 the ticket is given given he goes an example it's a 10 day cruise okay mm. and they're going and he goes inside he takes everything and he goes he takes some bananas he takes some apples and he goes okay now he goes for 10 days and he is seeing everyone is enjoying everyone is in the you know there there of, of course in a cruise ship everything is very royal and because everything yes. is really modern very luxurious and now everyone is in you know they have swimming pools and everyone is with the restaurants and they have different decks okay where they can go yes. and he is alone staying here in his room not going for swimming nothing he is staying there and uh, okay maybe he went, he went for the swimming and stuff like that but he did not go now all the food is provided all the food is provided they have like a big buffet kept every single day in that 10 days a buffet is kept and everything is ready for them and this man is drinking few bananas and few apples and in for 10 days he's eating only bananas apples and he brought some chocolates eating two or three chocolates and he's drinking water and that too he brought only two bottles of water how how will it be he would it wouldn't um, sustain him for all the days he's on there he no but is he only eating like he brought maybe 10 bananas 10 apples he's only eating one banana one apple one apple for lunch one ap- one banana for dinner that's it and that too he has only two bottles if let's keep it for two liters of water one bottle contains so if he has two water bottles only those two he has to last for 10 days <laughs> now the now the cruise is over and because uh, the the people who work in the cruise okay and the leader the leaders of the cruise want to give these people the best time they ever had in their lifetime okay and what they do is they have a very big big buffet where everything is kept it's like a banquet where everything is kept for them they just have to go and sit down and eat and they, and they yes. go to all the rooms all the rooms if they have 70 rooms 80 rooms they go to all 80 rooms and says come 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 and one person comes to this man's room and says come 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 and he says i uh, he is saying no i can't come and then the, he's asking why can't you come and then he's saying i don't have any money and now this man is showing him on the ticket where it is saying all in 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 small letters on the main ticket it's saying all the food is free okay now did he try to eat one banana for dinner one apple for lunch and satisfy himself yes. never how why do you say never he did that right he tried to eat he, he ate one apple food. yeah that's what and now on the tenth day uh, they're coming and saying now he must be thinking what a silly mistake because now it's the last day and all these days he could have enjoyed could have and now on the last day he's saying i don't have any money and now on the last day he gets proper lunch after 9 days more than a week how will you feel if i eat one apple and one banana for lunch and dinner no breakfast and no tea how will you feel for one hungry. week hungry <laughs> bored hungry bored yes Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And 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 for the 10 days all food was free and on the 10th day when they're having a big royal banquet okay not only a buffet a big royal banquet okay that's also free it is so big but if that is also free then he's wondering now one chance i got to go on a cruise in my life and that also i missed the chance that also i made a mistake correct yes Yes. So how many times God has a plan for us, and then God has given us the plan called the Word of God for us, and then when we take the plan, Lord, how will this work? Did Samuel also ask question? If He hears me, He will just get me directly. Didn't Samuel say that to God? Now, 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 was the food already included in that cruise? Yes. Yes. Now, yes. if the, 
is saying he will kill me is that kill me included no 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 god never you know because if god has a plan for him why does he have to worry if god is giving him instruction won't god take care of that when they gave him the ticket did they not take care of it the food and stuff like that yeah did he go and have to cook in there and eat no was it everything provided yes because of his own ignorance did he receive no in the same way even today because of our own ignorance we don't receive what god has for us because yes, of the in ignorance of the word because we have the word of god given to us we have the scripture given to us but because we don't really take that word instead we ignore that word and because we ignore that word we can't see what god has for us yes yes the document the ticket is already given to us jesus has finished everything but because of our own ignorance and our own unbelief we don't receive we say how is it lord we ask question back how how and and that's why that word how no and the word why no is very dangerous words if you if you you not say this how come how how can you say that how? why can you say that that how why what where who a very dangerous word because you might be saying i'm only asking a question i'm using my common sense yeah. and you're saying not to use my common sense <laughs> god does not work on common sense god does not work on logic Amen. god works on a wisdom that is foolishness to man that's why the scripture says god's wisdom is foolishness to man yes praise god yes praise yes. god thank you jesus hallelujah now now example if if there is a person with a sickness okay and he is confessing yes. okay according to god's wisdom god's word by the wounds of jesus i mean now according to the world he must be thinking the world must be thinking what do you think this fool is doing he gets an so you know example okay example just an example huh? okay i'm not yes, denying yes. just an example if there is a person who has very blurry vision and he needs glasses okay glasses mm. no the world will say uh, and he is a child now for for i don't know about in your countries but here in uk glasses are free for children okay example okay and if they are free for children and now the world must be thinking everything is free glasses are free why he is not taking them he does not have to pay anything but what is that person saying by the wounds of jesus i mean now okay. does he look like a fool yes yes that he look like a foolish person everything is given why are you not taking hmm. yes 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 yeah. but according to god's word the wisdom of god is foolishness to man it's foolishness to man praise god praise god thank you jesus praise you jesus so so and 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 if you see many times uh it's because of our own ignorance and our ignorance of what ignorance of the truth ignorance of the wisdom of god we don't see what god has for us even though god has given us the word god has given us the blessing god has given us everything written okay it's it's like this if there is a person okay example okay yes. there is a and b okay example me and jade okay and jade is driving just an example okay yeah papa would give this example and then jade is driving and she she is driving and i'm sitting next to her and we go and there what happens is okay by accident something happened over there and you crossed the red signal and someone stopped mm-hmm. you over there and uh they said pay and we paid okay we paid everything we gave everything away we paid it and they gave us a receipt and when we go now we did not do the mistake again but someone else stops us and say pay now it's like foolishness you're paying again how many of you will go and pay again no one no one no you only have to show the receipt that you already paid right yes but we are like those fools going and uh, paying it again god has already paid it if god has already paid it why do i have to pay it if god has already done it why do i have to do it 
this way many times we are focused on i have to do i have to do i have to do and because we are so focused on i have to do that's why we don't see at what god has for us we don't see what god has already given to us because Yes. of our own ignorance that's why it's because we don't understand what god has already made available for us only when i understand what christ has already given me and i understand what jesus has already made free from me that is when i will experience the glory of god that is when i will experience that word that truth walking in my life but if i'm going to live in sin and i'm going to live in ignorance now i cannot see what god has for me Yes, praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. And 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 this is the plan of God for us to see this plan working in our life. To see because what is this plan? This plan is given to us in word form according to the word of God. But to receive it, it is only by how how can I receive? Only by my faith. Only by my. Mm. Only by me putting my effort to study His word. in god's kingdom there is labor and time that is required if there is no labor and there is no time now you will be continuing to live in that uh, pit where you are thinking that uh, you are doing the right thing you are thinking that i am living my life according to god's word i am living my life according to god's kingdom but then uh, we are not living our life according to the god's kingdom yes praise god praise we god. we we think we think that uh, i'm i'm doing the word but actually we, we don't have to do anything god is only telling us to believe we do everything else but we miss that one thing that god is actually telling us to do that is believe yeah yeah Yes. we go on doing every, we, we 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 do everything else we are we are perfect in doing everything else but we are not perfect in doing one thing that is believing praise god yes praise god let's say the scripture says for by grace are you saved how through faith yes. god's part is the grace of god god's part is the grace my part is believing for having mm-hmm. faith so if there is no faith now i'll be living in that bondage of sin not salvation that's why just like how there is a virus in this world and it this virus is contagious in the same way there is another virus in this world that has been there from the time when god created the world from adam and this virus is sin sin was there forever on this whole earth it was sin there and even today it is there but yes. the antivirus for this virus is salvation that's why if i doubt god's word i am in sin if i believe god's word i am in salvation that's why uh, god's word tells for by grace are you saved you receive salvation through faith and this is nothing from yourself not even a pinch from yourself it is everything a gift of god example if your friend is coming and giving you a gift okay Uh, and and when your friend give you a gift you are you are throwing it in the bin is it your friend's fault no <laughs> no it is because of your own ignorance you just threw it in the bin thinking that what is this rubbish some paper he has given to me thinking that mm. this this is an empty box and there is some paper around but actually there was a gift inside correct yes yeah because of your ignorance in the same way god has made everything but we doubt and that's why we don't receive what god has for us that's yeah. why just how we don't receive the gift from a friend because we threw it into the bin okay or we or when the friend was knocking on the door we never even bothered to open the door to the friend that's how we do it to god god is telling us only believe you shall receive this grace grace is a gift from god but we are the ones who are throwing it into the dustbin because we don't believe Yes, and that's why yes. we doubt, and because we doubt, we are so focused on my works. Mm. I qualify. Praise God. Okay, Praise let's God. go to two Timothy chapter three, verse fourteen onwards. Oh, 
two Timothy three chapter three was fourteen on you can put fourteen to seventeen three fourteen to seventeen. Okay. Does anyone want to read? Jade Enoch. Nice. Yeah. Okay, let Enoch read. Okay, yes. Enoch can read 14 and 15. Jade can read 16 and 17. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But Enoch. continue though in the things which are though as earned and has been a soul of knowing of who though as learned them. And from a child, though as known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise and to salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Yeah, Jade. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, the, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. So, uh, praise you, Jesus. So, we'll see in the 14th verse. But continue in the things, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Now, are we confessing the word of God every day? Yes. Are we hearing the word of God through the teachings every day? Yes. yes. Now, these are the learnings we are receiving from the Lord. Correct? Yes. Now, here it is saying, continue in the things that thou hast learned. So this scripture does not only say hear the word, but it says continue in the word. Now, yes. continuing in the things. Now, I would always say this word, uh, consistency is the key for all breakthrough. Correct? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. What do you mean by the word continuing in the things which thou has learned? To keep doing it again. Like don't don't give up. Don't give up. Okay. Any other answer? Okay. Now, this continuing in the things which thou has learned, okay, means uh, whatever I learned, okay, I'm supposed to put it into action. This continuing in the things cannot happen if I'm not putting it into action. Okay, someone is saying be resilient. Okay, it, it means uh, putting the word in the action because continue, contin consistency is not only hearing the word, but consistency is also applying that word. We come and hear the word, we come and listen to the word, we come and hear the teaching, we come and listen to the teaching, we hear the word and we, you know, come and listen to the word. Mm -hmm. But, but am I applying it into my life or am I doing it as a duty thinking that if I don't do, God will punish me. If I don't do, God will, you know, do this for me. And, and, and that's what many times you think. If I don't do, if I don't come and listen, if I don't come and take notes, if I don't confess, if I don't do it, then God is getting angry on me. If that is your heart condition and if you are doing that with that kind of thinking, then you will never see any manifestation. Even though you know the word consistency is the key for all breakthrough, you cannot experience breakthrough. Because studying the word and applying to the word should not be a selfish motive, but it should be a selfless motive. 
okay i'm doing it because not because i for my benefit or for me to receive from the lord and for me to be benefited from the lord but i'm doing it because i love god and i know what he has made available for me what he has done for me on the cross 2000 years ago that's when my attitude turns to gratitude where i give thanks because what do you mean by the word gratitude grateful thanksgiving jesus his heart was always uh, grateful he was always giving thanks now uh, continue in the things means hear the word confess the word and apply the word now in we we, we saw faith right faith without works is dead correct yes yes yeah, yes we had seen that now faith without works is dead there are two parts of it correct believing in the unseen and what is the second part applying it living that life uh but if you see actually i when i was studying more on that uh, james chapter 2 was 20 and was 20 there are three parts to faith not only two parts there are three parts of faith anyone knows what are the three parts two parts we already know believing the unseen and the third part is Uh, applying that word. What is the second part of faith? Okay, the first part is believe in the unseen. Third part is apply that word. What is the second part? Anyone? Don't know. No, no. Okay, first one is hearing the word means studying the word. Okay, studying the word. Second one is confessing the word. Third one is applying the word. I always thought there were two parts of it, but actually, when I was pondering more on that, I, you know, found another part of it because I'm supposed to speak faith-filled words. Words. The second part, confessing the word, is with imagination. not just confessing like parrot or like robot god did not create us as robots go left go right go confess the scripture go confess psalm 91 go confess this no yeah just yesterday i was telling the story about those parrots yeah yeah those parrots yes so so many times we act like robots we are perfect in being robots correct but actually yeah. we should not be like robots there should be imagination and only when there is imagination then my faith can work so there is hearing confessing and acting yes yeah yes. praise god praise god thank you jesus that's what continuation means continuation means hearing the word confessing the word and applying that word i may i may do two things but if i'm missing one thing then there is no point mm, yeah yeah because it's it's like it's like uh in, in if you have your mobile your device batteries mm. you will have three parts to your batteries correct one is power saver mode one is so 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 like battery best saving battery life one is better performance good performance and one is best performance correct yes yeah they are best the three parts of your battery best battery what that will be better battery best performance better performance best performance best yeah performance. yeah or if you, if I, if i see on my laptop on my uh, pc i see there is best battery life then because it means it's consumed it's safe one is normal good performance good it's working for good not perfect and then it would be best performance now no matter what in whichever level you keep it on will the battery still work or no okay on on on, on power saver mode it does not work battery does not work correct no it works it works no, in it the works. same way, in the same way according to faith there is also three parts and what are the three parts hearing means studying confessing speaking with imagination and acting applying 
living that life of faith. Praise God. That is Praise why God. when we confess the word of God, we are releasing God's power. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, someone is saying reading, confessing, and applying. Not reading. Because if you're going to read, if you're going to read, then um, if you see reading is only a theory, you know, kind of. That's why it's sup supposed to be study, studying. Because uh, I also made the same mistake. We have all made that same mistake mistake thinking that i'm supposed to read the bible i'm supposed to read the bible but if it, that's why many times many people go to prayer retreats because they want to finish reading the bible from genesis to revelation that's why they go to prayer meetings but but how much do they have the understanding are they just reading it blah 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 or do they really have the understanding of that Many people will read blah, 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 blah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Someone is saying I meant to type studying, not reading. That's okay. Press card. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not only saying for you. I'm saying for everyone because reading we think is right, but actually it's wrong. I, I did that mistake. And when I used to read, no, I used to understand, you know, the understanding which I would get. You might be thinking 100% understanding. No, 0% understanding. Okay, out of 100, zero. I would not be able to understand anything, anything, because I only used to read. But then once I got the Holy Spirit, now I started with the Holy Spirit to study the word. Now the revelation you get now is so much. You will be thinking all these years, this was right in front of my nose, but I never understood. <laughs> no, right? praise God. Yeah, no, means I'm, if I'm reading a book, means I'm looking in front, it's in front of my nose, means I'm seeing it, but I never understood it. Yes? Yeah, yes. Yeah. That's how we are. That's how I was. All these years, the word was in front of my nose, but I did not understand one single word, not even one single letter I understood of that. Because we look at the word as... Some, a storybook that I have to read every day to please the father, to please my parents and to please everyone around me. Yes. When I say the father means the heavenly father, people around me and my parents. I am supposed to do it. No, studying the Bible should be where you're having your intimate time to spend with the Lord where you're understanding more of his nature. You're understanding more of his character and you're understanding more about his personality. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That is that is that is why we don't see what God has for us because we are so so uh, trying to read the Bible where we are supposed to study the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. That's that's why we are like that crew, that person in for the cruise. <laughs> We have everything included, but we don't, we don't receive. We only ask, Lord, if it is your will, just give me the healing. I'm, on, I'm not asking you for something big. I'm only asking you for the healing. That's what the, the, the younger son did to the yeah. father. He said, I only want to be one corner, your hired servant, not even your normal servant from the house, your, the servant which you hire. That's all. That's enough for me. Hire. That's all. Even I don't want to be paid because hired servants should be paid. I don't want to be paid. I just want to be a small. Give me that place. Right? The, those that we think, oh Lord, I only want the healing. I don't want anything else. Only give me the healing. Only give me that uh, inner manifestation. Lord, if, if you don't want to set me free from this, okay, but just give me this. How many times we say like that? Yes, but why do we say like that? Because we really don't understand the will of the Father for our lives. We don't understand the plan of God for our lives. And that ignorance is what leads us to not receiving from the word of God. Even though God has given us everything freely, freely, not of our works, freely, we don't receive. Yes. And that's when we start to work. We think that God is not giving, but we don't understand that it is our own problem. And that's when we start to work. That's what the younger son is also saying. Lord, make me your highest servant, one of your highest servants. I don't need anything from you. I will only work for you. And that's enough. You just give me some food. That's all. Enough. Very true. And then when we don't get again, we think that it's not God's will. And then we stop.
trusting, believing, all that happens. Yeah, and working starts. Yes, believing yes, starts, yes. Working yes. starts. Yes, praise God. We do that. Praise God. Yeah, but but when the younger son, the youngest God, ne- the father never made the younger son like how he was before. No. Yeah. Once he was only a little boy. The father's little boy, but now he's no longer a little boy. Now he is having the same authority, not little less authority, because he's a little boy. He's having the same authority as the father. Means yes. he is higher than he was before. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Jesus. So, is it our Thank own you. mistake? Yes. Is it our own ignorance that we don't see what God has for us? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not because God does not love us. His love is always towards us. It is because we don't understand how much he really loves us. The voice is fiery. Now is it clear? Yes. yes. Because they are doing some work outside also. So there is a big drilling sound kind of outside. Praise <laughs> God. Yeah. That's... I like the drilling sound. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, they're just doing some work outside. So that's why maybe you can't hear me. Now is it clear? Yes, yes. Yes, now it's clear. We can't hear any drinks. We can only hear you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So did you understand? Yes. 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 That's why God has made available everything. Not something, everything. But... What God has made available, everything to receive, it is up to us. Hmm. That's why God is only telling us, you don't work, you don't do anything, only believe. One simple yes. thing we have to do is believe. And now the working, God is not telling us, do not work. No. The working I'm doing is because I understand how much he loves me. Now that Christ, which is inside of me, makes me do good work. I'm not doing good works to please God and to for me to receive from God. I'm doing good works because the one who's in me is making me do good works. Praise God, yes. Praise God. Praise God. So how many of you understood? Praise God. Yes, Father. Yes. Okay, someone is saying God is not harsh, he's compassionate. Yeah, God is not harsh. Because, because we think we think according to religion and according to uh, how the world sees, we think uh, God is, you know, we, we look at God as a mean, harsh, yeah. and angry judge. And that's why we come in front of him with hopelessness. And that's think why we want that, to work. Because yeah. we think he's angry at us. Yeah. And we have and, to do and, something from our side to yeah. get him less angry. Yeah, to please him. Yeah. To make him happy. Because that's what in this world, if I want to make anyone satisfied and anyone happy, I will have to work. And we think yeah. it's, it's the same with God. God is also, yeah. That's so true. That's why the disciples came and asked Jesus, what should we do to work the work from God? Jesus, you know, Jesus never said, go and do anything. He only said, God only is happy and God only requires of you. The work that he requires of you is believing. That's all. He's believing. That's why I would always say this word, step of faith. Not step of work, step of faith. Only that one single, he will do 99 steps. We have to only do one step. 99.9 is done by him. That one step of faith is required from your side. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We have to only have 0.1 step. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. Praise God. Okay, did you understand? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'll stop here. Uh, today I have some work. Okay, we are going somewhere. So we will take testimonies on Sunday. Is that okay? I have a small testimony. We, can we take it on Sunday? No, it will be very small. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So we bought a new cycle because the old cycle was very really small. So yeah. then so then at the first I could not even what to say, sit at the cycle seat. It was very uncomfortable and the cycle 
whole cycle will have a back. We, we can, we can rest it. on that. Yeah, a rest on it, but we can sit like that. But in this cycle, big, big cycles, it won't be there, right? So then it was very uncomfortable at the first. I was very slow doing it. Then one day, one day, one day, one when I was turning, there was a, like a kind of small pit. So, so the balance, so the back wheel gone into that pit and it was stuck. So I can only move the pedal, but it was not moving. Then I said I can do other things to this. The one thing that was I was not able to do with it. The cycle was so high that it did not I did not reach it, my leg to the ground. But anyway, by suddenly I I felt some someone pushed the cycle up into the road again. It was the angels. Then I got confident I and I was was going fast more than my cousins. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. You were going what? More fast than my cousins. Cousin Praise brothers. God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And you are smaller than them. Yeah. Praise God. No, they are smaller than them. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise okay, God. yeah. Angelica, you had a testimony, right? Yeah. Yes, so uh, I just kept in the in chat box recently, like right now. Pardon? So like, like, like just like, I don't remember when, but... Uh, Angelica, your voice is not clear. Can others hear her clearly? No, no I can't no. understand a word. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll type she it. put the testimony in the chat. Okay, I'll read it out, okay? I happened to squeeze my finger in the door when it was closing. As soon as I said, I am healed in the name of Jesus, the pain vanished. Wow. Praise God. Praise Amazing. God. Thank you, Jesus. So that word is working. That word is, that's why the word of God is creative power. And that word is bringing manifestation in our lives. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Yeah. Hi. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So uh, we can close this session. Thank you, Jesus. We can close. Praise God. We'll close with the prayer. Does anyone want to do uh, the ending prayer? Can I leave? I have another meeting. Yeah, yeah, you know. Praise God. Yeah, you can leave, you know. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. So we can close with the prayer. Does anyone want to do the ending prayer? Anyone? Jade, would you like to do? Yes, praise God. I'll make it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for this anointed session we had. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us even more about your word. Thank you, Jesus, for providing us with everything, Lord. As we learned today, everything is already paid for. Everything is given to us. You have provided, you have made everything available to us. And all that we have to do is believe and receive it. Thank you, Jesus, for your death on the cross. Thank you for dying for us. It was because of your death, Lord, that we were reconciled with God. That today we are completely healed. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us and guiding us and helping us learn about the word. Thank you, Jesus, for all those who have joined in today, Lord. Thank you for your blessings that you shower upon them, Lord, always, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our families, for our friends, for our teachers, for our schools. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of us and for helping us and for protecting us in everything that we do, Lord.
in every way that we go. Lord, when we are in this world, help us to only radiate and reflect you, Jesus. When people see us, they don't see us, Lord, but they see you in us. Thank you, Jesus, that we are anointed and we are, and we, you have created us to spread your good news, Lord, to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth and to proclaim and bring glory to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that everyone here, Lord, and everyone watching, they have learned something, Lord, and they have heard it, they have understood it, they're going to confess it and apply it, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen, amen and amen. Amen, amen, Praise God. Okay. Praise God. Um, praise God. So it was, uh, yeah, actually it is uh, Roxanne's birthday.